If you remember from our last week's segment, we were talking about door security, outdoor lighting, and we were talking about some security systems that you could put into place that would help you. So today we're at our local Home Depot store. Uh, we're down here at uh, 1030 West Sunset at my local Home Depot. I practically live here. And what you probably don't know or I didn't mention to you last time is that I've been building custom homes for almost 20 years. So today we're gonna to talk about specifically door jams and what you can do to strengthen and uh, harden that target prior to someone making an entry. So the first thing you wanna look at is the door jam itself. Now this here is called the strike plate. And the strike plate is exactly where the deadbolt is going to enter and you want to have at least a one inch depth uh, insert for that. You'll notice that there are two types of screws here. We have a smaller one, which is the standard three quarter to one inch. And then you have the three inch screw that goes in through the strike plate, through the jam and into the actual subframing. That's very important that you have a three inch screw at a minimum so that that makes sure that that strike plate is secure and it's resistant to kicking. So here we have a box of nails that we were gonna show you. Uh, screws, construction screws here. So this is a number nine by three inch. Uh, this one happens to be in a gold color, but you're gonna wanna match it up. Obviously, if you have black, you wanna use the black ones. If you have a bronze or copper one like this one, you're gonna wanna use these type of screws. But this is exactly what you're looking for at a minimum to strengthen those strike plates. Okay, so now the second important part of a door is the locking mechanisms itself. Now, when we go over to the door and lock section, you're gonna see a variety of locks that are available. There's the keypad touch, there's the remote control like through the Wi-Fi, and then there's the old standard uh, manual turning deadbolt. One of the things that again you're looking for is that one inch depth which is very standard on most of your locking mechanisms these days. You wanna make sure that that is moving freely because if you are relying on a Wi-Fi enabled locking system, you wanna make sure that that's not getting hung up and when you leave that it's not actually locking because then you have just an open door and anyone can walk through it. So you definitely wanna make sure that they're in good condition and that they're working well. But as you can see, when we bring this thing in, and you lock it in, you now have a secure entry point.